Hi, this is episode 21 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. It's rare to be a fan of Mondays, so each Monday, I like to walk through a complex development topic and give a dead simple explanation of how it works in the real world. So even if your day is rough, at least you'll have learned something new, or at least a new way of thinking about it. And with that in mind, our topic for the day is going to be understanding NoSQL databases. So first and foremost, what are NoSQL databases and why should I care about them as a developer? The easiest way to understand the definition is that a NoSQL database is not a SQL database. Standard relational SQL databases such as Oracle SQL Server or MySQL have a tabular structure and interface similar to what you see in an Excel spreadsheet, whereas NoSQL databases have various types of formats and can therefore be much more flexible. For example, imagine that you had to build an application where users were able to define their own fields, such as a survey application, where one user may create a survey with two fields and another may create a survey with 100 fields, and they need to have the ability to be named on the fly. Technically, it'd be possible to implement this with a relational database, however, it'd be very clunky. NoSQL databases could handle this very easily though, by allowing the fields to be created dynamically and then each record would be stored with its unique characteristics. It is important to note that one of the greatest strengths of NoSQL, its flexibility, also presents its greatest challenge. Imagine that you're building out an inventory application that has fields that need to connect to other tables, such as a user table for the employee entering the information, a vendor table, and a tax table to calculate depreciation. If you were to attempt to implement a NoSQL database for this inventory option, you'd end up having to work very hard to map the values between the models and it'd make for a very difficult application to maintain. In this case study, a relational database would work out much better than a NoSQL option. So when you're trying to decide on which database to use, it really comes down to what the requirements of the application are. If you want to chop a tree down, you wouldn't use a hammer. You'd use an ax because it's common sense to utilize the right tool for the right job. And in the same way, software development works exactly like that. I don't believe in the SQL versus NoSQL debate. They're both tools and they're the most effective when they're used in applications that work well with their strengths. A good rule of thumb is to simply follow the guidelines given by the names themselves. If you have data that relies heavily on relationships, then it's probably the best fit to utilize a relational SQL database. Whereas if you have a set of unstructured data that really needs flexibility, it may be the best option to go with the database that's not SQL, such as a NoSQL database. For an example, how NoSQL looks, here is a snippet from MongoDB, which is a very popular version of NoSQL. Notice how it really looks just like JSON code? It's actually because it's a form of JSON called BISON, short for binary JSON, and it's really just a set of key value pair data stores, and it's in a document type of storage unit that can be structured however your application and your data needs. This is in comparison with this relational SQL table. Notice how NoSQL databases encapsulate all the data into a single object, whereas the SQL structure is built around relationships. That's really the key difference in understanding how they work and how they'd work in your application. If you're interested in building applications with NoSQL databases, it's important to understand that there's no such thing as a standard NoSQL database. There are many different variations. There are key value pair stores, there are wide column family stores, document databases, and graph databases. I'll place a link in the show notes where you can explore each type and see which one would work best for your application.